Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a chain animation in Blender step by step. Let's get started. Let's create a chain mechanism first. Press Shift A to add a torus object. Open the bottom left panel and set the major segment number to 24. Move the torus on the Y axis. Press numpad 7 to switch to the top view. Press Tab key to switch to Edit mode. Press Z key to switch to Wireframe mode. Select these vertices. Press G, then Y to move them on the Y axis. Back to Solid View and Object mode. Right-click and Shade Smooth. Press Shift D to duplicate and rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis. Bring it back on the Y axis so that they don't touch each other. Hold Shift to select the chain parts and press Ctrl J to join them together. Press S to scale down the chains. Press Ctrl A to apply rotation and scale transforms. Go to the Modifiers tab and add an Array modifier. Set the factor X to 0 and increase the Y value so that the chains don't touch. Increase the count value depending on how long you want the chain to be. That's it, we have the chain now. Apply the Array modifier. Press numpad 3 to switch to the side view, G to move and R to rotate about 45 degrees. Add a UV sphere and move it to the chain tip. R to rotate, S to scale if needed. Select the chain and tab into edit mode. Hit the A key to select all vertices. Press P to separate the chain parts by loose parts. Now, when you go back to object mode, you select each part individually. Select the last part of the chain, hold shift and select the sphere. Press Ctrl J to join them together. Select the first part of the chain, R to rotate and G to move. Add a cube object and move it to the top of the chain. Select first chain, then select the cube, press Ctrl J to join them together. Select all parts, right click, set origin and origin to geometry. This way, the origin points will be moved to the center of the geometry. Select all parts, Press Ctrl A to apply rotation and scale transforms. Now, let's add a rigid body for the chain. Select the top cube, go to the Physics Properties tab and add a rigid body. Set the rigid body type to passive. Set the collision shape to mesh. This is very important for the chains not to explode at the beginning of the simulation. Now, select any piece of the chain and add an active rigid body. Set the collision shape to mesh again. Also, open up the sensitivity panel and set the collision margin to 0.01. .01. It helps maintain stable, accurate physical interactions. Now, hold shift and select the other pieces. As you can see, the piece with the yellow outline is the active selection. Others with the orange are passive selection. This is important because we copy the rigid body setting from active to passive. Go to the Object menu, Rigid Body, and Copy from Active. In this case, all pieces will have the same rigid body settings. Let's play the simulation. That's it. You can select all parts and move the simulation up so that the sphere does not touch the ground. Now, let's simulate the stacked boxes being collapsed by the sphere. Add a cube object. 
At the bottom left panel, set the size to 1 meter and Z location value to 0 0.5. Go to the modifier tab and add an array modifier. Set the offset X value to 1.01 .01 to leave a very small gap between the boxes. Set the count value to 6. Duplicate the array modifier, set its offset value to 0 and Y value to 1.01. .01. Duplicate the array modifier one more time and set the offset Z value to 1.01. .01. Apply all array modifiers. Press numpad 7 to switch to the top view. Grab the cube to the center. Press tab into edit mode. Press P key and separate by loose parts. Press tab back to object mode. Now you can select each box separately. Press Z key to switch to wireframe view and select all boxes. Right-click and set origin to the geometry center. This way, the origin point of each box will be moved to the center of its geometry. Now, select any box and add an active rigid body. Set the mass value to 0.2 kilograms. Open the dynamics panel and enable the deactivation and start deactivated options. This keeps the boxes still until something hits them. Hold shift and select the other boxes. Go to the object menu, rigid body and copy from active. Now, all boxes have the same rigid body settings. Finally, let's add a plane to interact with the boxes. Add a passive rigid body for the plane. All right, let's play the simulation. As you can see, the sphere collides with the boxes but cannot collapse them. Select the sphere and increase its mass value. That's it. If you want the simulation to play faster, go to the Scene Properties tab, open the Rigid Body World, and increase the speed value. If your simulation doesn't look realistic and stable, you can increase the sub-steps value per frame. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.